What's going on guys? Vic BP back, one of the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got another 27 inch mid-size arcade cabinet going out. It's an anniversary gift. So off the bat, first and foremost, shout out to my buddy Sal over at Magic Moments, New Jersey. Um, because of him and his Instagram posts, this customer wouldn't even know I existed. Um, but again, big shout out to Sal, Magic Moments, New Jersey. Uh, I didn't ask them to post anything on Instagram. That's just like, you know, when you get so excited, you just want to post something. So luckily they posted it. And within about maybe one or two hours of me posting the video on my Instagram that he shared, we got hit with a, another customer by the name of Jane. Jane hit me up. She kind of gave me a little bit of a time constraint um if you go back to when i posted that video for magic moments i think it was like beginning of may um she's like hey my anniversary is coming up we just bought a new house i want an arcade cabinet for my hubby can we make this happen and i'm pretty proud of myself because i usually don't get an arcade build done like within like a week and a half so i'm gonna tap myself on the back on that one but <laughs> jane hitting me with a little bit of a challenge uh, basically, if you think about it, like figure this, May 9, I placed the order for the cabinet. Usually takes about a week for Game Room Solutions to send out stuff. Not to mention, I did full custom artwork in one day, which I've never done. Um, this one really put my like skills to the test. So, pretty proud of it. If you think again, like I said, May 9, I ordered the cabinet. May 10, I did the artwork because you have to order the cabinet to get the artwork and all that. But I did have the artwork files from Magic Moments. Um, figure May 11. I sent it, I sent the files to Game Room Solutions, they printed, they put it on the cabinet. I got this, today is the 23rd. I got this on Friday, today's Sunday, I got this on Friday, so figure the 21st. The 21st I hauled ass, I built it, everything, the, I, I did so much in one day. I never get like one, I never do one build in one day. Um, but for Jane and to make sure that this gift goes to her house before the anniversary that was that was a challenge so again she commented on uh magic moments cabinet she goes vic i want that one i want the one that magic moments has so again we are looking at the 27 inch mid-size with the riser um she wanted like her her hubby's nickname is kirby so we were looking at a kirby arcade kind of theme um but she didn't want multi cade as far as artwork she also stated that he is a giants and a mets fan so we had to figure out how to incorporate that somehow and i think i did a pretty good job as far as the artwork um i do have to give kudos though so game room solutions i usually if you ask them for their artwork they never will send it like usually i say hey a customer likes your multicade artwork but they want to add characters usually game room solutions just wants you to send them the image that you want to add to it um this one surprisingly mike or tyler he sent me the file and i was like oh thank god because I added a lot. It was it was too much for me to even just send to Tyler and then not to mention the time constraint. So again, kudos to Game Room Solutions for actually sending me their actual artwork file, which is massive. It's a huge artwork file and we're gonna go deep and closer. Um, but but we're gonna go in depth and, and I'll get out of self mode because you guys don't like self mode and uh, let's take a closer look. Since I'm on the subject of artwork, let's focus on the artwork first. So this right here, like this left side here, like literally just maybe like four or five images. You got Centipede, Space, you got Donkey Kong. Those images came from Game Room Solutions and I do like this Donkey Kong. It's very clean, clean cut. But like, you know, even like the turtles here. But then I wound up adding more such as really the Street Fighter crew down below. Um, Jane wanted a couple of like Double Dragon. This game, Amagon, I, I couldn't get much of the characters on that game, but she wanted the box art on that. Uh, we added a couple of Tekken characters on this. And again, Kirby's Arcade and the Giant. So there's a lot of Kirby files out there. I didn't want to use the same file or the same image every time. So if you look carefully, every Kirby image on this cabinet is different. So you got one on him on the star. Uh, she wanted this one. This is a big thing. Uh, as far as the riser here, we do have the Giants logo with kind of cool Kirby. So again, Giants and Mets theme. And I also did it where red and blue team molding, as you can see, the divide. I figure I put red for the Giants because they're, you know, they're, theirs is blue and red, whereas the Mets is blue and orange. 
they don't have orange team molding. So I said, you know what, we'll do blue team molding for the Mets and then red team molding for the Giants. As far as Marquee, as you can see, different images for Kirby. Pretty cool, I think I did pretty well with the whole logo. You gotta get the Giants, you got the Mets up here. We got Mr. Met 2 up here. This is another big thing. She did like this little cute Kirby kissing and then their anniversary date. So we hooked them up with that. We just got another couple Kirby here. Kirby's Arcade. Control panel, definitely cool. Game Room Solutions original control panel had Mario and Peach kissing here. And Jane was like, please, can we swap that out with Kirby? And that was easy peasy. Uh, basically followed the same kind of characters on the side art. Definitely like the Ryu and the Ken edition. Got Miss, you know, Pac-Man here, Double Dragon, Mega Man. Again, she was very big on the multi-cade, multi-character artwork. The plate here, it was a not a tough call for me, but I do like what I did with this. I didn't want to put more arcade characters, so I figured let me focus on the the game, the the sport team. So again, Giants. This is pretty cool, the Mets and the Giants logo. And then the Mets here with like this kind of cool kind of wave going on. Kick plate, very unique, very cool. We do have double coin there on this. It does work. Again, this is a running a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so double coin door. I didn't realize it. It's it's not too bad, but you kind of see the faintness of the Giants logo and then the Mets logo. Um, I should have probably bumped up the opacity on that, but it's not too bad, honestly. It, it looks pretty good. Same thing on the kick plate here for the riser. Again, different images for Kirby. She did like this hammer one. So, you know, when a client sends me a couple of images, we go through, uh, you know, different PNGs and all that. But same thing here with the coin there. She wanted the date and she wanted the kissy Kirby's. On the right side here, we got the Mets. Almost exact duplicate as the left side. But again, basically, I'm just, you know, focusing here. This came from Game Room Solutions. We got the Street Fighter characters, but then here I added like Mortal Kombat. I added a different Kirby. Um, uh, ju -ju -ju. I'm gonna say the wrong game. Uh, it's gotta be Double Dragon on that. And they were also big on this. I forgot what game character this, what game this character came from, um, but she wanted that, so we snuck him in there. And it had to be the green one. I'm drawing a blank on this because I gotta deliver this. And again, up top as you can see, another Kirby image. Mets logo on the riser right, and then same thing again, different Kirby image. Again, double dual team molding. I didn't think Game Room Solutions was gonna hook it up for me. They 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 hook it up for me, I guess, but you know, asking them to send me double two color team molding, I don't wanna sound like a pain, but it does look awesome. Uh, the other big thing to share, again, buttons, LED buttons, chrome buttons, blue and red for Giants, and I got her blue and orange for the Mets. So that's definitely a cool thing to take a look at. Orange for the Mets, red for the Giants. Uh, pretty cool, Micro Center luckily had a couple of orange ones, but they don't have the chrome cheat, uh, they don't have the chrome trim on the arcade button. So I actually pop out the actual button and then I put my chrome trim. So definitely a little kind of custom to it. LEDs, obviously this is set to slow fade, so the colors are set to blue. The channels are set to blue. We have our volume rocker here. Same thing like I did with Magic Moments. I am now going into this hole. I use my little saw there and I cut out little edges here to make sure it's just clean. I used to make holes, like uh, maybe a three quarter inch hole. Same thing here for the volume rocker. Try to keep it as clean as possible. Again, bad top joysticks. They don't make orange, so red for the Giants, blue for the Mets. And as you can see again, very like, again, like I said, this little clip, very tight. Again, clean wiring as always. I do have my wiring going down to the coin door. I have my coin door keys here. And yes, the coin door does work. Uh, it's basically mapped to the select key or coin. So RK games, it will take the coins. Take a look at the back real quick. Again, double doors on this bottom door. We got clean wiring. As always, you can kind of see my coin collection bucket, LEDs, and we got the subwoofer. So the big thing compared to Magic Moments cabinet, the subwoofer is not bolted down. Um, in Magic Moments, I put that against that wall, but we have a coin door now. So this is technically floating around. The only reason I have that is because this does have, that, have the four bolts to hold the riser in place. So. Once I get it in the house, I'm not worried about it because they're not gonna move it. Like I'm gonna put it on my truck. 
Uh, but other than that, pretty clean. All right, so real quick, because some people do want to check it out, we will load up an arcade game and we'll show off the coin door. Coin door from X Arcade. I love their coin door. Game Room Solutions has a coin door. I don't know why, but it's either their micro switch that's in it is just bad. It's like the coin will be hit or miss. Whereas X Arcade's coin doors are always spot on. I never have any issue with the X Arcade's. The only thing right now is that they're doing like a 40th anniversary. And I just barely got this in. Going back to Jane's kind of time constraint, I just got this in uh, yesterday, Saturday. So that was like the last piece of the puzzle. That took about a week just to get. Um, but real quick, so coins will work with arcade games. So if you're playing like Super Nintendo, you don't need coins because it doesn't take coins. But games like this, if you do have a quarter, you literally plop it in and you get it. So this is double coin slot. So right coin slot is for player two, left coin slot is for player one. Games like Street Fighter, games like TMNT, player one, you know, I think it was is March and player two is Homer. So if they put the quarter in, in here on player two, they're gonna play as Homer. Uh, again, that's basically for the four players, but you press start, you press start. I only put one coin in. Again, even though you do have the coin door, you do still have the buttons here to add. And you know, some people might go, oh, what's the point of putting the coin door? A lot of people do like the nostalgia feeling, just like Jane, she does like the feeling of like, hey, putting in quarters. There is a way that you could disable the button. Um, you know, normally I don't like customers going and opening up and touching the wiring, but there's a couple ways. The easiest way really is to remove the micro switch like this. You could even let it hang like that. This way you could still have like the LED on the micro switch there. But basically once you do that, I can't put any coins in. That's the easiest way to do it. And luckily with these, it's just a very simple kind of spin and that's it. Now, now you got coins. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, again, six buttons on this, obviously. Can I do my one-handed Hadouken? There it is, cool. Also again, save and load state. So I could load a game that I was playing before. Very cool features, a lot of people like that. Again, the coin door, it's about 70 bucks retail. Um, very nice, it, it does look great. And luckily with Game Room Solutions template, you could see Kirby kissing is not cut off. The date is not cut off. It's definitely very cool. So what I'm aiming for with this coin slot thing is the, the green room, he's doing the same thing, but he's gonna get a Pandora's box. It's gonna have the coins, but I still have the coin buttons here. So I'm gonna basically do the same thing where um, I will just have the micro switch a little loose on the bottom. This way the LEDs will still illuminate. Um, I will work in the future. Instead of that, possibly putting in like a, um, not a momentary switch, but a monetary switch. This way, if you activate it, it'll activate the grounds and then these buttons are active. If you deactivate it, then these buttons are deactive just by the grounds. Um, but all in all, solid. Jane hitting me with a very challenging task, but I'm pretty happy that I got it done. Uh, again, I never built a cabinet in one day. That's wiring buttons. I've, I've never done it, but uh, I appreciate the challenge, Jane. And I hope you and hubby enjoy your arcade. VicVP, Game Case Arcades.